the President of the Armed Forces of the United States and a grateful nation. It is an honor to present to you this flag, the symbol of our great republic, of whom our veteran, Jim, so I have served. I also present to you three spent rifle cartridges, symbolic of the three rifle firings, and the final salute to Jim this day. On behalf of all of us on the Fort Snyder Memorial Rifle Squad and the United States Army, we extend our deepest condolences to you, to your family, and all your loved ones gathered here with you today. Never forget his most honorable service in the Army. extend our sympathies and our, our thoughts and our prayers. Um, I just want to thank um, Jerry. I think, Jerry, you were responsible for sending me down the pictures in that today. Kind of a real humble looking guy in his eyes there. Huh? Um, can anybody demonstrate his swagger for me? Anyone <laughs> <laughs> want to demonstrate his swagger? Um, Jerry, you wanted me to read some, uh, some of these tributes, right? Yeah, it would be kind of nice. We have about a 15, 20 minute slot here. So William James Conroy, born January 2nd, 1941 in St. Paul, died September 1st, 2016 in Florida. He was preceded in death by his wife, Barbara May Condon, and parents, William F. and Laura Conroy of Brass, Brass. He is survived by a devoted partner, Ida, Ida Cleveland, daughter, Laura Mickey Conroy, should be son, Michael Conroy and grandchildren Jamie Trivi and Christopher Trivi, all of Florida and sister Mary Ann Hoffman, Gary Woodbury, Minnesota. Known as Jim, he gradu graduated in 1960 from Central High School where he excelled in sports, especially baseball. He joined the United States Air Force where he served for 20 years, retiring in Florida. Jim had a swagger about him and a smile that made everyone want to know him. His passion was his family and golf, a game he was especially good at. Mike writes, is Mike here? No, we couldn't make okay. it. Now, we have some techies that are recording this for Mike's sake, right? Right. Yeah. And we'll make sure that Mike gets it. Mike writes as a tribute, yesterday was one of the toughest days of my life. My father passed away. We knew it was coming and he was very comfortable and went very peacefully, but it still hurts more than any words that I can post here. I really appreciate all the kind words and phone calls from all the family and friends, more than you could imagine. It makes me happy to see how many lives he touched through his, throughout his life and the love that they have known. My dad had a swagger about him and a smile that made everyone want to know him. He loved his family, golf, and was like a little kid that never grew up at Christmas. If you ever saw his house and how much he loved decorating it, you would understand. If you notice the glow in the distance at night, you were probably seeing it from afar and just did not realize it. My sister said it best. We complained every year putting the decorations up, but knew it made him happy, which made us happy. He took us all around the world and showed, showed us so much as an Air Force veteran. He was a fairly simple man that never needed the finer things in life to be happy. We never realized growing up that we did not have a lot of things because he was always there after work and weekends teaching us sports like golf, hockey, football, and baseball. He was good to them and we did them as a family. He was good at them all and we did them as a family. 
always at our games watching as a proud parent that he was. All our friends came to our house because they knew something was going on and wanted to be around the fun. Everyone that knows me knows that I am a golfer and that is the one thing that he did best. I'm the luckiest guy in the world because I got to play golf with my dad and best friend almost every Sunday for the last 30 something years. He showed me how important it is to have good friends. There are at least 30 golfing friends that we have played with and I will miss watching Florida State football games and how excited you were to go to a game in Tallahassee. Yelling at the TV when they did not do good and the high fives when they won. I will miss your smile when I make that birdie or you, you sink that 80 foot putt. But most of all, I will miss the phone call every other day just to check in and see what I was up to. I have been so proud to, all, to tell all people that my dad and I love you very much. Mickey, is Mickey here? here? Mickey, you want to read this or you want me to read it? <laughs> okay, Mickey. We lost a great man, Mickey writes, dad and friend yesterday. My father passed away yesterday afternoon. He made traveling all over the world with the Air Force fun and adventurous. Dad taught me how to play softball, ice hockey, golf, and football. Football. Yeah. <laughs> Checked football scores for his football pool when I was nine. Played ice hockey against boys and men at the huge ice rink he made in our backyard. Broke into my apartment wearing a powder blue tuxedo. Do we have video of that? <laughs> Broke into my apartment wearing a powder blue tuxedo to get the wedding ring that I, I was I, that was forgotten the day I got married. Marriage still? Huh? <laughs> he told me I played golf really good, but walked to the D-A-M-N slope. He didn't spell it out. Yeah. Yeah. Point. He picked up your cadence or your swagger. He was the instigator in the wrestling matches with my brother and tried to blame us when mom caught us. He loved his Christmas decorations through the extreme. We complained every year putting the decorations up, but knew it made him happy. Loved any sport on TV, bit on my sport on TV and on his computer. He was really loud when football was on, especially when Ford State, go knows, and the Minnesota Vikings. Say Vikings. Vikings, <laughs> right? I um I only played a few um games of golf, but I I played all sports in high school and college, was a Hall of Famer, had an opportunity to, at the Vikings myself, um, just had one problem, it wasn't quite good enough. Um, he will be missed by a lot of friends and family. Now, now dad joins my mom in heaven and is at, the, at peace and not in any pain. They always say that death is harder on the living than the one who has passed. So do your grieving, then move on with life and remember the good. The good and happy times, that's what I plan to do. I love you, Dad. Rest in peace. And then a, a poem, did you write this, Jerry? No, it's one that uh, Mickey... Okay. And I watch you every day. I try to let you know with signs that I never went away. I hear you when you're laughing. I watch you as you sleep. I even place my arm around you to calm you when you weep. I see you wish the days away, begging to have me home. So I try to send you signs so you know you're not alone. Heaven is truly beautiful. Just do wait, wait and see. So live your life, laugh again, enjoy yourself, be free. Then I know with every breath you take. Um, as we keep that in mind, let us close in a, in a period of prayer now, if you join me. Father, we just want to thank you for this great man. We thank you for the tremendous memories. We're here not to say goodbye, but to say see you later. We were reminded of the words where Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. <coughs> they who believe in me, though they die, yet they shall live. And whosoever lives and believes in me shall never die. <coughs> the eternal God is your dwelling place, and underneath are his everlasting arms. Would you like to join me now as we place our hands on the ashes here and say a, a final goodbye? You're certainly welcome to come front and center. And Anybody, everyone, family and friends, make their way forward. Ida, if you're not quite ready, that's fine. Well, God, you're the Lord of life, the conqueror of death, our help in every time of need.
would not willingly grieve or afflict thy children. We ask that you would comfort us who mourn and give us the grace that in the presence of, of death that we may worship thee, that we may have the sure hope of eternal life and we may be enabled to put our whole trust in thy goodness and mercy. For Almighty God, our Father, from whom we come and unto whom our spirits return, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations, thou art our refuge. We ask, O Lord, your blessings now as you taught us all to pray, saying together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Divine is your kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Now may the grace and the peace and the love of our Father, Son, and Holy Spirit go with you all. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust, as we look forward to the general resurrection of the last day, where there's no more goodbyes. No more see you later. May the grace and the peace of God the Father Almighty go forth and abide with you now and for a moment. Amen. And I invite you all, and, and I don't know, now one of these bouquets is going to the, uh, the grave site, and one's yep. going home. You know which one's going home? Doesn't make any difference. Okay. <laughs> so, I'd uh, want to be the first to get his little flower there. I'm going to let you uh, spend the last five minutes here by yourself. Sherry, it's been pleasant talking to you. Thank you.